<laughs> hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Santa Stewart Coats, Killer Queen Vintage. How are you all? Oops, there's a mess in the shot. That's cute. I'll wait till you can chat. Hopefully I didn't hit, it's not for, <laughs> for kids. Oh, just got a message from Lizzie London. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Deborah. I'm a little bit earlier than I normally am, but I have to get up early to head to London. Hi, Julie. I've updated all of the PayPal. Everybody's packed and shipped and it's on its way. Just thought I'd bring you a, pre a few pretties to tease you with. Hi, Christina. Well, first of all, these came in. Oh, wait. I <laughs> he just got a sneak peek. I went and got my nails done. And I said, give me something summery. Something pink and summery. I think these are a little bit more than summery. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> They're so bright. Ah, my toes are done the same. Wait. Oh no, it's so bright. That is literally my nails glowing. We don't need uranium. We could just do my nails for the light show. I'm glad. <laughs> It's so funny, you have to laugh. Oh my, how is Texas? Sylvia's in Texas and it's so hot there. Yeah, I know, Julie, I know. My husband said the same. So he's, Hi, Sonia. He said, you could just throw your feet up on the desk and light your toes. You don't need a light show. Ah, uh, girl, you bought. You should have bought that quartz crystal before you left. They do stay ice cold no matter what. I mean, I'm gonna be fair. Be fair. It was it was hot the other day, and I had a strand on, and I, I still broke a sweat. But underneath of that necklace, it was still ice cold. My neck stayed ice cold. So, I mean, <laughs> when you're going to cover yourself in quartz crystal, I don't know. But I think it did keep me a little bit cooler. I mean, seriously, I was sweating. But under the necklace, it was like ice. I, I know, Sylvia. Hey, they're great every summer. I, I think I'm going to start making uh, quartz crystal bracelets for women in menopause. I've been there, done that, but I know they sell these like cooling pearls or whatever they are. They're like, I don't know, they're tacky looking. Hi, Terry. But I, I'm serious. I have a, like a lot of broken necklaces. I think I'm going to start making bracelets for, for menopausal women. Let me give you a little closer look at this. 
wait, even the bale is studded. Oh, this thing wants to hang funny. Hi, Lori. The pearls are all real. That's the back. It's solid sterling. I'd have to weigh it. These are the clips. Now my dealer says that they're ear clips. And maybe in the 1860s, these were ear clips. But look how long the clip is. I did put them on my ears. They are comfortable. But I think you could put them like a dress clip, you know, side to side in the front of a dress. Or you could put them in your hair even. Because they sort of have that wavy bit like a hairpin. They're really soft. But they're really heavy. They're quite stunning. I'm waiting on um, a pearl necklace. It's stranded, but it's open and it has clasp in the back and it's open in the front, so it'll go through this bale. I mean, they'd be stunning in your hair. Well, this, you know how I tell you guys, I don't like to buy lots because number one, you get a lot of junk in most of the lots that you get. Let me turn this diamond tester on. It's annoying, I'm sorry. I'll try to turn it down until it, it warms up. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, that's why I came in a bit early. And I just got a message from Lizzie. I knew she was gonna be busy. It's her first week back to work from her holidays. Um, hopefully I'm still gonna meet up with her Thursday, of course, but I knew she was going to be busy, you know, up until then. And she'll, she's probably too busy, but God bless her. She'll still, you know, she'll, we'll, we'll still probably meet up. Okay. Behave you. All right. Long story short, which I'm probably really bad at, I got this ring in a lot the other day. And when I took it out, I'm like, uh, it was, of course it was filthy. It didn't look like this. It was, it had a hundred years of dirt, like most things do that I get. So I looked at it and I'm like, okay, number one, that's gold. Number two, those sure look like diamonds to me even without a loop, once I cleaned it. And then when I took it out, I was in my office and I only had natural light and it was purple, but I could see blue and green flashes. Oh, wait, let me. Diamonds, Russian Alexandrite, late Georgian, early Victorian from the setting. So maybe, you know, buy that lot every once in a while.
can see more of a color change when I turn it over. Because the light isn't direct. You'll see blue and green. So this has to go into the jewelers. Clearly. What I'll try to do is get a diamond of a period of the same period. <laughs> yeah. Uh my stepson said, uh, oh, I love that ring. I'm like, good luck. I, I've always been really lucky finding things. Now Sarah's going to have a heart attack over this. I know I did. This ring is Art Nouveau. This is a true bohemian dragon's breath. It's set on 15 karat gold. And it's had a platinum repair. I thought that was pretty freaking amazing. Hit it with the UV light. I can hit it with the UV. Just sitting here, I can see the um the blue and like you know the alexandrite like bluey green flashes coming off of it. Even filthy, I could see those flashes. I was like, oh, 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 wait a minute. It doesn't do a full color change, Deborah, and most natural ones don't. But it does, depending on the light, color change. Okay. Let's see. This one's been repaired. So, we're going to revisit the garnets. This one was always fine. Uh, the earrings were always fine. These ones, the post. I sold the um, screw backs. Um, there's still this Victorian one. That 14 karat Victorian. Now, the big news with the garnets is the big raspberry is back and it's repaired. And the, every single one of those are bohemian pie rope. And Ashley saw the set that I just acquired. Well, I haven't got it yet in my hot little hands, but I did get, it's Art Deco. Art Deco geometric earrings and an Art Deco geometric large brooch. Which ring, honey? The dragon's breath?
the band one, which, oh, the, yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring the, I'm just going to bring all of the, um, garnets out. Yeah, I'll bring it. Yeah, I have a great big one that hasn't come back from Bob yet. But I, I have a large Bohemian as well. That needed one stone replaced. And he's just, I guess, so busy doing other things. He hasn't got the time to put it in. I asked him to do it. But we'll see. Because I'll be back on Saturday evening. I'm, I'm not sure if he'll come in on a Sunday or not. We'll see. Because, you know, no sale on Friday. I'm going to come in Sunday. No, not, I, I don't know why I said yes to Friday, honey. I won't be, I won't be home. I'll be in London. And I certainly don't want to drag inventory to London. But I will have a sale Sunday. Same time I would have it on Friday, but on Sunday. Uh, let's see what else is new. But, oh, oh my God, it's staring at me. She is very finely carved and jet. Big, long jet. She just looped around the... She would just disappear on the black one. Isn't she beautiful? waiting for she is I love her Bob has the cameo or the the hand painted cameo it is it's very finely carved she's absolutely gorgeous oh, I don't like I like cameos, but only if they're pretty. <laughs> only if the faces are pretty. And she's beautiful. So there's her. And the, the hand-painted one, the jet with the hand-painting that I said I wanted to get it repaired before I sold it. Bob has it, and it's going to be a necklace. Because it said the way that it sat, it would, the brooch wouldn't sit right. What he had to do to make it a necklace as well, he had to take it apart. And the back of, I'm going to get photos before he puts it back together. The back of the brooch is signed. Now, it's either the person's name or the month it was made because it's August. Um, what else did I want to show you guys? Something else was new in. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm going to show you this. Hi, Carol. It is fragile. And could you imagine how they carved that? Oh, do you mean the brooch? Oh, he's a jeweler. He's a good jeweler, honey. He's played with this stuff forever. She's got flowers going on in her hair, like a big bouquet. Isn't 
it's not just these. This is all, I don't know if you can see it. They're all like tiny forget-me-nots in her hair. And her pearls are even carved well. I lucked out with that one. Now this, you know how I'm always talking about a book chain. A book chain. I love a book chain. I love aesthetic Victorian book chains. And I would say, oh, I can never, I can never afford to bring you guys a necklace. A locket necklace. I haven't got the locket yet. It's the crazy dealer that splits things up. This one is very feminine. Hopefully I have the locket by Sunday. It's 18 inches long. And the locket's nearly as big as the palm of my hand. And it's all carved. Thank you. I thought so. And then this side is smooth. But I think it'll be another stunner. Um, let me look around. It's 70 Tuesday, so I'll have things coming in while I'm gone. And my stepson will carefully put them aside for me. Oh, I don't know. He gets on my last nerve. It's like he sent me the pendant, the Austro-Hungarian pendant. And then it wasn't until three or four days later... I got the earrings. I'm like, this isn't like parents taking a flight somewhere that you're worried that, you know, if one dies. I said, if one, if you lose one of those pieces, then, you know, it doesn't, ha it's not a set anymore. But he does it all of the flipping time. Oh yeah, I sent that pen, I sent that necklace out today. I'm like, okay, did you send the locket? Oh, I'll send that out in a couple days. I'm, I'm so happy he doesn't charge me shipping. Well, he probably does. He probably just throws it in the price, but... I think he does it to irritate me. <laughs> I'm serious. I know! So, Jewel, all of your stuff is out. I'm I'm hoping I think I gathered every piece. What well, was all in one pile anyway? But yeah, I picked your necklace up from Bob, who was waiting what a week, week and a half for these large brass rings to come in because he doesn't work in brass. He works in silver and he works in gold. Well, he only works in silver for me. He won't work in silver for anybody else. He scraps silver. But you do, he will do work for silver, in silver for me. So he was going to do work for brass on your stopcock necklace. He, uh, yeah, even your stopcock. Because he's waiting for these rings to come in. I'm like, listen, this is so easy. He's like, if it's so easy, then then you, you fix it. So... I brought in, it was a vintage necklace, and it had a long extender, and it was a wide, like, link. I put it on. I said, there, spot fix it. Done. Okay, honey, it was so nice to see you. 
I'll see you guys. I'll come live from London. This is so fantastic. I don't even want to part with it, but. Oh, everybody that had an order should get their tracking. I have to go back in, Julie, and update because it was like two orders, you know. I want to go back to make sure it's covered. Yeah, I'll try and pop in, you know, when I normally do. But, you know, during the day, I probably will come on. I definitely will come on because I want to go to, we're going to stay on Portobello Road. We're staying in a hotel on Portobello Road. So I can duck out and go shopping. When we're not doing everything else. <laughs> I'm certainly going to try. It's supposed to be, my husband said 30. 30 Celsius on Friday. He's like, bring something light for that contractor's meeting. You don't want to wear anything heavy. Well, I mean, you know, it's summer I wouldn't have anyway, but 30 Celsius I think is around 85. Like London, I I think 80, 85 maybe. I'm terrible at Celsius. I've lived here for 10 years. I'm still terrible at it. Hot. <laughs> it's going to be hot. But London is often hotter. Especially, I live on the South Devon coast. It's way hotter than here. Yes, no math. The only math I can do is adding and subtracting. <laughs> I, I made this much and I think I spent probably twice as much. He, I don't blame you. <laughs> no buses. I'm not taking any buses in London. I take the train. All right, guys. Oh, I just pooped. The 28 is 82, so it's going to be 30. So about 85. Oh, I know. I'm going to go crawl. Well, I have some more laundry to do. Then I'm going to crawl into bed. Because did I do that today? No. I was playing with jewelry. Well, not playing. I had things to be fixed and sent out and all that happiness. But everything I needed to do is done. And now I'm going to bed. Oh, my goodness. So it was lovely to see you all. And I will see you soon from London. I might even go live on the train. It all depends on the signal. <laughs> Good night. Don't hate. I'll find some beautiful things. And I'll show them all to you. Have a good night.